Okay, so today I'm going to make a, a generator for batteries, like a 12 volt generator. And in a nutshell, I'm going to hook up a car alternator to a little gasoline engine. And um, I'll tell you where I've gotten so far. I went into uh, an auto parts store, one of the major, you know, super chains. It's like the McDonald's of auto parts stores. And I go in there and I'm like, hey, can you give me the cheapest alternator you have? And he's like, uh, well, what car is it for? And I was like, not for a car. I just need a cheap alternator. He's like, oh, okay. Beep, 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 beep. He looks in his computer. Here, we got this one for 30 bucks. And I was like, 30 bucks, eh? Cool. And I was like, wait a minute. How much is the core charge? Because they always have to charge a core charge. It's kind of like when you buy a drink and they, they you have to give a deposit on the bottle or something. Anyway, he's like, oh, yeah, that's another 30 bucks. And I was like, oh, so this isn't a $30 alternator. It's a $60 alternator. That doesn't sound nearly as good. That's like twice as much. All right. Anyway, then the guy's like, oh, but but down the street here, a couple miles, there's a, an, an auto salvage place. You can probably get one real cheap there. So I was like, oh, excellent. So I'm going to go there now. I, I, I haven't been there before. I don't know what the place is like. But uh, I brought some, some wrenches just in case I have to take some stuff apart. But I, I did look it up online after I got home, and I think it's a place where they do all the taking apart for you, and then, you know, you have to, you have to pay them extra because they do that. But it should still be pretty cheap. So I'm going to go get an alternator. Driving, driving, driving. Oh yeah, I'm in Florida. That's why I'm squinting all the time because it's so sunny. Stop sign. Oh, so here I am at something something salvage. So I went in there and they only had newer alternators that need like a computer to get them to work and stuff. And I don't know how to short circuit the computer out of the whole situation. It's just kind of ridiculous. Oh, I was hoping a salvage place would have old stuff. But anyway, now I'm at the Burger King of um, auto parts stores. See? Burger King! I resist the urge to complain about new cars and how complicated they are. And I'm just gonna say, okay, I got this huge old alternator that just has like two hookup spots and no stupid computer connections. And it cost me 60 bucks. It would have been nice to just like pull one out of a, an old car at a junkyard somewhere, but there aren't those kind of junkyards around here. Or the, maybe there are, but I'm not gonna look all over the place for it so got my alternator anyway okay now for the engine I've printed off a 20% off coupon at Harbor Freight or from Harbor Freight and I'm gonna go over there and see if I can get a little engine I took my 20% off coupon and got one of these and I actually spent the extra $20 on the two-year warranty so this way I don't have to worry about breaking it accidentally and here it is look it's tiny uh, I'm gonna put some gas in it and just start it for a minute and see how it goes. Oh, it sure holds a lot. Okay, test run. Here to change the camera. <laughs> I'm have my safety gear on. <laughs> Okay, now I need a pulley to put on here. Oh, and the little key that's here is missing because I took it off before I started so it wouldn't go flying off. Anyway, then I can get a pulley and a belt to go around this thing. But I also have to figure out which direction this spins so I don't spin this the wrong direction because I might have to put it on this side or maybe that way, I don't know. So uh, I'm gonna start it and try to watch which direction that's going. Yep, I don't know if I'll be able to tell though. Okay, it goes that way. And this goes that way. Ah, oh, crap. I mean, this is going to have to go on this side so that it'll be going in the right direction. Hopefully I can find a pulley for that thing at the auto parts store, but I'm just going to have to go start looking around. Where are you going? The auto store. Okay, so like Burger King doesn't have pulleys. So I'm looking for somewhere else. I'm gonna try Home Depot. Oh, there was Ace Hardware over there. Uh, we just passed it. So if Home Depot doesn't have it, we're going there on the way back. Oh, this is freaking annoying. Yeah, I can't find these st stupid pulleys anywhere. 
I'll have to look online, see if I can find some somewhere. Okay, after calling all kinds of places and looking online, Tractor Supply Company has it, but it costs like $10 more than if I just order it. Uh, although, I checked online and found a coupon for $5 off, so I'm just going to go get it. And what else are we going to go do? Chickens. Yeah, they, they have chickens there too, so we're going to go look at the chickens. It'll be like a zoo excursion. Chickens! Yes, a pulley! And it was only like $12. The guy quoted me wrong on the phone. That happens all the time. And I got a belt, and those two things together were only 20 bucks. So my $5 off a $25 order didn't work. So I got some extra cutting wheels. Ha! There were no chickens at the store, but look, it's a one-legged bird. Ha, Florida birds are funny. He's really just standing on one leg, and his head's on the other side. It looks like he's not even a bird. Look, there's no head. There's his head. Okay, little engine. Sweet! Where's my little key thing? Okay, I need to make sure my little key thing is on there. And then... Excellent! Okay, that's all the important parts. I need my pulley there, and then my alternator. And now I just need to build some kind of frame platform thingy for them to both attach to.